I wanted to have somebody who loves me. One of the biggest records I've ever worked on for Whitney Houston. We cut that record in this room. I knew it was like a prize fight. That important. A really important moment in my time of music making and for Whitney. And we pulled every stop out to make sure the bottom end had all the funk it needed and the grit from Randy Jackson's one finger Moog bass. All my great singers coming in here to lay it all down like a great blueprint from the lead vocal to the backing vocal, all the done so I could get with Whitney, I could play her a finished record for her to go, wow, now I can kind of get the vision of what this is supposed to be. That was the second day of recording for Whitney. The first day when she came in, we would cut a song called For the Love of You, the great Isley Brothers song. That was the song she really knew. And when she sang that song, we stacked her voice in harmonies on each side of the speakers 20 to 30, 40 times, all the harmonies herself. When she heard the playback, that gave her inspiration, like a wind in her, in her sails of new life, of new sound that she had never heard her own voice stacked that many times. So that by the following day, we started I Want to Dance With Me Loves Me. She was excited, she was revved up. Because at that time in her life, she had been working really hard, traveling everywhere, doing all kinds of shows, having to be everywhere at the same time. So we had to kind of step back and re-inspire her. And you hear that in that recording. She's fresh like a little baby bird on I Want to Dance When He Loves Me. And now, Clyde Davis and her family and the estate are putting out this movie for Christmas, December 21st. I Want to Dance With Somebody Who Loves Me, the biopic. And it's being directed by the gentleman who, to the great Queen movie, Bohemian Rhapsody. So we make a prayer, it's gonna be a fabulous film on Whitney. In discussing a song I'm very proud of, it's called Higher Love. This song I recorded on Whitney on her third album, we were making All the Men I Need, I Belong to You, but she was going through depression, a heartbreak. She was quite sad. So in talking to her, I said, what song is out you really love? She said, oh, I love what Steve Winwood and Shaka Khan, who my, she's my favorite, what they're doing on the Higher Love. I said, well, why don't I cut that song for you when I go back home to San Francisco? When I go back home to San Francisco, I'll cut that song for you. So when I got back here to San Francisco in my studio, Tower Pen. I got my whole band together again, and I put a, a stellar gospel choir of all the great singers in the Bay Area. They all packed in this room. And we sang the Higher Love song. And I made it intentionally very long, like six minutes long. And when I went back to New York to see Whitney to put her voice on other songs, I surprised her. I said, sit down. And I played the version of Higher Love that I had cut for her, the six minute long version. And she got so excited hearing the version that she immediately wanted to sing it. I said, well, go ahead. She went out there, put her phones on, and blew down over and over and over again this six minute long version of Higher Love. The way you hear on that record, she's blown it down all the way to the end. All the gospel riffs, all the church inspired love, it's all there. When the album came out, Arista Records at the time decided to make it a B side for one of her singles in Japan only. So I knew no one had actually really heard it beside a few in Japan. So after she passed away, her estate got a hold of me and said, what ideas do you have as far as Whitney's music? I said, I have a great idea. In our vaults, we have Higher Love. It's a track that hardly anyone's ever heard before, but she sings it incredible. So we got a little budget from Sony to put together a remix of Higher Love, which I did here at Tarpin. And we put a great new version for it, and we gave it to Sony. Sony gets excited. They then get someone else in New York to do a mix, and then they also bring a young gentleman named Kygo to do a mix. And uh, I, forget, I kind of forget about it. Maybe like a month later goes by. I get a phone call Sunday morning from Clive Davis. He says, hey, what's up with this song, Higher Love? I said, oh, Clive, I cut it many, many years ago, and I just re-remade it uh, to kind of bring some new life back to Whitney. He said, well, have you heard the, the Kygo version? I said, no, I've not heard the Kygo version. I said, have you heard my version? He goes, no, I've heard your version. I go, okay. He said, well, let's, let's call back after we hear each other's versions. I said, okay. So I, I check out Kygo's version. It's really cool. And Clive hears my version. He calls back and says, you know what? Uh, everything's good, but you know what? Kygo's got a massive following right now. At his shows, there are like thousands and thousands of people. And his version is really good. I said, okay. So they decided to put out Kygo's version. And God bless Whitney. Her voice rang like bells. So beautiful. And people took that song all over again, Higher Love. And I'm very, very proud of it and very proud of her. It just goes to show you that quality is always 
number one.